In this video, advancements give OP items. Can I beat Minecraft while every advancement rewards me with overpowered items? Watch till the end to find out, and please consider subscribing for more. Enjoy the video. So, I'll get this wood, and I believe that making a crafting table will give me my first OP item. And I finally have 6 logs. Let's see what I can get. An emerald. That should be good to trade with the villagers. So once I get some stone, that should also give me another advancement. 25 golden nuggets, not bad. Alright, I'm upgrading my pickaxe which gives me an iron block. And with iron, I can get a lot more advancements, like acquired hardware and suit up. But anyway, now I can craft some golden ingots with my 50 nuggets, which I'll turn into a golden boots. With some iron armor, I should get another advancement. And an elytra? It also gave me another iron block. And the iron pickaxe gave me obsidian, which gave me fireworks. It's only been like a minute, and this is already way too overpowered. I just realized that as I make progress, obtaining advancements would get much harder. Let's see what I have so far. I already have a lot, but I still need stuff like lava, a shield, and diamonds. I think I see a cave. Maybe I'll come back here later. Wait, I see a village. Alright, I'll just grab some wheat. And a blast furnace should be useful. I'll also get some beds. What's in here? I'll take some bread. Now I'll kill the iron golem. If you couldn't tell what happened, I lost 30 minutes of footage. Luckily, I only recorded half of the video and I haven't entered the nether yet. Anyway, here's a quick recap. Once I defeated the iron golem, I started mining for more iron. Then made a shield to get another advancement. I encountered a witch, but quickly escaped. Afterward, I smelted the iron and crafted two buckets and a flint and steel. Then I traded with a villager and got the what a deal advancement, which gave me a spawner. An infinite food source was great, so I went inside a villager house, placed the spawner, and waited for a while. However, no pigs were spawning, so I broke the spawner and headed outside to see a lot of pigs. They must have spawned outside the house. As the sun started to set, I cooked the meat with some campfires and smokers. Then headed to bed to get the Sweet Dreams advancement. In the morning, I started searching for a lava pool. By glitching into the composter, I was easily able to locate a lava pool, and once I found it, I realized I had no water. As I started mining up to go to the surface, water instantly poured out and covered most of the lava, but luckily there was still some left. I was speedrunning the nether portal until I realized I had 8 obsidian from the beginning which I used to build the portal. And that leaves us where we are now. Before entering the nether, I think it would be a good idea to get as many advancements as possible, so I'll head to the surface. Alright, by looking at the subtitles, I've noticed that there's an axolotl nearby. I think I'll search up where the water poured down over the lava. And there's a lonely golden axolotl trapped here, so I'll take it with me. It gave me more iron, which is fine, but I hope I get diamonds. Now what other advancements can I easily complete? I can get the take aim advancement if I find a crossbow in the nether, but I think I should just plant a seed and breed two animals. 
I have seeds in my inventory, but anything works. Why do I keep getting golden iron? With string, I could craft a fishing rod for another advancement, but I'll just head to bed first. For a fishing rod, I'll need two more string, so I'll make another axe and head into the mines. Wait, the skeleton dropped a bow, but it has no durability. I think there's an enderman here. Yes, the spider dropped two string, which is just enough for a fishing rod. I'm currently looking at the enderman on purpose. Yes, it dropped a pearl. I hope this baby zombie doesn't kill me. It's finally time to fish. I think the only time I've ever used this is in PvP. I got fish and three pearls. Nice. I don't want to waste too much time, so I think I should finally go to the nether. But first, I'll have to leave the axolotl because it won't be safe in the nether. Goodbye, friend. This river is a much nicer home for you. Tactical fishing will be the last advancement I get before leaving. And I literally got only one golden ingot. And I'm back in the cave. So I'll get rid of stuff I don't need. Wait, no! The zombie hit me into the lava. If I lose my stuff, the challenge ends. I died. Wait. I didn't realize there was a lava pool here at spawn. That would have saved me so much time. I hope I survive. Let me just kill this zombie first. And now I can retrieve my stuff. It's finally time to enter the nether, which should also give an advancement. Apparently I didn't seem to get anything. I think I'll check if it's in the overworld. I got bedrock, but I probably won't need that. Alright, now I have to locate a bastion remnant or a fortress. I'm in the basalt deltas, which isn't ideal. Now I have to carefully traverse the spikes without falling into the lava, which is what happened the first time I attempted this challenge. Anyway, now I'm being attacked by a gas. Now I have to carefully cross the edge of this wall without falling. Maybe I should get the return to sender advancement. Come on, why do I keep missing? Yes, I got it on my fifth try. Okay. I got two advancements, but I already had Monster Hunter, so they must have somehow reset. I'm back, and I managed to fix it, so now I can continue to search for a Bastion Remnant. First, I'll need a lot of blocks. And 64 should be enough. I can also trade my remaining gold with the Piglins. First try, nice. Another ghast. I'm on half a heart again. These ghasts are so annoying. No! Luckily, the gold is still there. Why are there so many ghasts spawning here? I've killed like three ghasts in under five minutes. Finally, I can start trading. I think crying obsidian also gives an advancement. Wait, the piglins stole the elytra. It's fine, I already have one. This might take a while to find a bastion.
Come on in, Enderman. Yes, a pearl. Whoa, I almost fell into the lava. I don't trust elytras in the nether. I finally found it after searching for five minutes. Oh yeah, I also get an advancement for entering the bastion. Wait, I finally found diamonds. I also got some more bedrock, which isn't useful. Now I just have to carefully enter without dying. I can already hear piglin brutes and I need more blocks. Mining this gold isn't a good idea. They're gonna attack me. It turns out they can't hit me, so I'm safe. I'm still not sure how I'll get inside. I think I found an entrance. That's a long name. I just have to get past these piglins. I don't want more crying obsidian. Seriously, I'm just gonna block off this area so he doesn't notice me stealing his items. The advancement also gave me some more pearls, which is more useful than any of the items in this chest. Take my old golden boots. I also need to craft a new pickaxe. Anyway, I guess I'll just wait here until I'm done trading. Now I'll search somewhere else. This piglin is trying to threaten me. I almost fell again. Wait. That was the dumbest thing I've ever done in Minecraft. I'm not sure how I'm still alive. I'm currently in a very safe situation. Did that piglin really just kill the brute? I need your crossbow for the advancement, but I'll have to hit you off. I think I can grab some more gold now. I guess I'll continue trading. Yes, more pearls. Most of the items are also burning. So this isn't exactly an ideal place to trade. What? Even more pearls? My luck is probably as good as dream. I have 18, which is way more than enough. It doesn't feel right doing this. This place is already lonely enough. And it didn't drop a crossbow. I guess now I'll explore the inside. Though I should find another fortress soon. I'm pretty sure that this is a treasure bastion, so there should be a lot of gold. I keep falling on accident. I'll block off this area, and that's where I'm heading. The piglin literally killed itself again. These mobs need more IQ. Well, I'm being attacked by another brute. Alright, I found the entrance and now I just have to carefully cross the lava. I'll also destroy the spawner. I can finally start mining this gold.
and the block already burned. What's in this chest? A diamond helmet, which gave me some more fireworks, and ancient debris, which should give another advancement. I got just another golden apple. I really need some blaze rods. 8 times 9 plus 36 is 108 golden ingots. I always run out of blocks. Here's some gold. I'm not sure why I'm procrastinating. I should really get going soon. Got some fire resistance potions. Why did I do that? This is taking too long, so I should find more piglins. Wait, I'm being attacked again. This took way longer than I expected, and my axe is almost broken. I found more piglins, so now I can trade faster. More ender pearls. I still can't craft a bow because I have no wood. I think I'm done trading, and I forgot to equip my diamond helmet. It's finally time to leave the bastion. So the gas doesn't see me when I'm behind a pillar. This may be risky, but I'll fly out. Almost there, and I found the exit. Now all I have to do is find another fortress. Wait, is that the fortress? I've been searching for far too long. I'll tower up, and I'm in. I think I got more pearls, but I'm not keeping track at this point. Is that the spawner? I keep getting attacked, and I can't block off the lava. I'll just use fire resistance and go through. I have to clear my inventory to collect the blaze rods. Not sure what I got. I just need one more. Seven should be enough. I'll make some blaze powder for the eye vendors. I saved the coordinates of the portal. I should save my fireworks for the end. This place seems familiar. Apparently that helped. I'll make some iron boots and get some blocks. It's nice to be back in the overworld. I'm running out of food, so I'll go mining for gold to make more golden carrots. I got some gold and made a new pickaxe, so now I'll get some carrots. 12 is enough. I'll also get some wood to finally craft a bow. I always forget the crossbow recipe. So if I shoot this pig, what? Anyway, it should give two advancements. Not sure what I got, but it doesn't matter at this point. It's time to locate the stronghold. I have to go this way. I think I see an ocean in the distance, so the stronghold could be underwater. That was laggy.
I'm going in the right direction. I think I'm getting close. It's here. The stronghold wasn't fully exposed, but I saw some of it in this area. I'll craft a door so I can breathe underwater. I've reached the stronghold. I think I got an anvil. Whoa, that was scary. I increased the brightness so I can see better. I'm pretty sure that I should follow the doors like this. There are skeletons in here. This loot sucks. I've found a library. Nothing good here either. Wait, is that the portal? These silverfish are so annoying. Yes, I have enough eyes. And also just enough for a chest to store random items. That's good. Now I'll set my spawn point. We're in the end. For some reason, I got two items. It's time to defeat the Ender Dragon. All the crystals are destroyed. Whoa! Come here, dragon! Somehow I didn't take damage. Why does it keep launching me so high? These beds are doing a lot of damage. Almost there. The final hit. Yes! I finally defeated the Ender Dragon. I got an Elytra. This will be the last advancement I get. Now once I break this end stone, I got an emerald. Also the first OP item I got. Coincidence? Anyway, thank you so much for watching till the end, and I hope you enjoyed.